It's Pam from AccuQuilt. I am so excited about our new lowercase Carefree Alphabet. Let me show you a great project that we're going to show you how to do today. It's really easy. You can use your 8 inch cube, which is part of our Ready, Set, Go, or you can use any cube since the dies are all the same. Watch this. We're going to make this great little wall hanging. It's called Listen to Your Heart. And I'm going to show you how to cut out the alphabet using our new lowercase alphabets. And then the outer edge, we used our 8 inch cube to make kind of those fun stars and some flying geese. So I'll show you how to do those together as well. So first, let's talk about our new Carefree Alphabet die. So first of all, it has a free embroidery download. So if you're looking to cut out those letters, you don't have to struggle anymore about trying to go around with a blanket stitch and get all the parts and pieces. In fact, just because we can, not only are we going to give you a free embroidery download for the lowercase alphabet, but we're also gonna give you one for the uppercase alphabet and the numbers. So the whole set is all together. So now it's really gonna be so easy to personalize projects and bags and totes and pillows and make really fun things using all the letters. So today I'm just gonna show you, we're gonna cut one letter. You don't have to cut all of the shapes on the die. So the two-tone foam shows you where the blades are inside. Now you're gonna get thousands of cuts out of this particular die. In fact, all of our dies and you're gonna get hundreds of cuts out of your cutting mat. So if I'm going to use the alphabet die, keep in mind that this is a directional die. So all of the alphabet letters are facing up. So what I've done is, you know, normally I talk about how you need to have lengthwise grain and all of that. Well, with our alphabet die and all of our applique shapes, you're going to put fusible on the back of your fabric so now you don't have to worry about lengthwise green. So what a great way to use up your scraps and your stash. What a fun time to do this. So I have our little piece of purple fabric here and I'm gonna lay it right over the letter A. We're gonna cut this for Aaron, who's our videographer today. Now, just because I don't have to cut all the letters, I'm gonna use just a six by six cutting mat. So I'm gonna put it down here on the go cutter now, because these are 10 by 24 dies, you can use them either in your Go Cutter, which is part of the Ready, Set, Go, or your Go Big. So I'm gonna put my hand over the top, give it a little turn. Look how easy that was. Now, I'm gonna slide this mat off. Don't lift, because all the static makes the pieces fly everywhere. And now you can see this perfect letter A. So, ta-da. Now keep in mind, quilters, you can cut up to six layers of cotton fabric if it doesn't have fusible, but since we've added that fusible, I'm gonna tell you to have three or four layers of cotton. But think of all the other kinds of fabrics you could use. You could use flannel, you could use felt, you could use cork, isn't that slick? Okay, so we're gonna leave this letter A here and when I come back, we're gonna show you how to embroider it and how easy it is. So let's go over and talk about the rest of the project. So again, we're gonna make this little star corner up here. This is from our little wall hanging or it could be a lap quilt. So that fun star is really only two shapes. We used our eight inch cube, we used shape number two and shape number five. So we have die number five and die number two out here. Now look right here, this is that fun little star block and it looks a little complicated. It is not, it is so easy. So basically what we've cut are half square triangles and squares. Now you'll notice that I've cut out all of my pieces and I've sewn those half square triangles together. Typically quilters, we press to the dark side because we're quilters, but in this particular project, I'm gonna flip it over so you can see, we have pressed those seams open. This is such a small space that if you press to the dark side, you're gonna have lots of bulk and we don't want you to have that. So I'm just gonna show you how to sew this all together. So I would tell you quilters to get your blocks, lay them out just like this so you know how to put your pieces together. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna sew them together just like this. 
Now, I have to tell you, with our Go Fabric cutters, 90% faster than with rotary cutters or scissors. But when it comes to cutting out applique shapes, not only is it faster, but it's so much more accurate. All right, so now see, I've been talking, so I got to see where I'm doing here. All right, now if you want to, you can pin your pieces. Sometimes I pin. Come right here to the machine. Make sure you have a good quarter inch foot on there. We're just gonna go right down the side. All right. So I've sewn the first piece there. Look at that. And now I'm just gonna add this other square to the other side. Okay, so quilters, one of my tips and tricks is always to cut all your pieces first because then you can just chain stitch if you wanted to. So I have all my pieces and they're pinned together. So I'm gonna come right here and sew that perfect quarter inch seam. I'm so excited about the alphabet die. My sister Betsy, she loves to write notes and she uses some lowercase and some uppercase and she mixes them all up. So this is the perfect die for her because now she can have lowercase and uppercase to personalize stuff. All right, let's see how we did. Ta-da. All right. So now I'm just going to press these seams open. Watch out, your iron is hot. And again, I'm going to press those seams open to help get rid of some of that bulk that's in the center. There we go. Uh, make sure we do this. Then we're going to set it just like this. Ta-da. So now, quilters, you can see how I've sewn those pieces together. So you would continue to sew this row together and this row together, and then put the three rows together to make this really fun, easy block. So how fun and easy was that? So quilters, where can you get your carefree alphabet two die set with our lowercase letters? Well, here, you can get it at AccuQuilt.com or from your local signature retailer. Remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more.